If you believe the internet, Pope Gregory IX issued a papal bill in the 13th century that declared cats as instruments of Satan, which led to huge numbers of them being killed. This in turn, as many websites would have you believe, led to the bubonic plague. But while there was a Pope Gregory IX, and he might have said something about cats, and many cats did die at some point, and there was an event called the bubonic plague, the validity of and connection between these facts could not be more false. I'm your host, Peter Zablocki, and this is History Shorts. As the supposed story goes, cats were introduced to Europe by the Romans after bringing them from Egypt. Initially, these feline companions earned a positive reputation, particularly for their role in benefiting agricultural communities by providing invaluable help in protecting harvests. Their exclusive meat-based diet ensured they posed no threat to crops, making them the nature's ideal solution for pest control. However, dynamics between humans and cats took a negative turn in the early 1230s CE. Legend has it that Pope Gregory IX issued a papal bill called Vox in Rama, branding cats as instruments of Satan. This declaration ignited a widespread cat purge across medieval Europe, with a particular focus on black cats, considered especially associated with Satan. The shift from revered creatures to objects of Catholic disdain marked a significant transformation in cultural perceptions. This shift aligned with medieval superstitions where cats, despite their undeniable pest control prowess, conflicted with Christian beliefs about humanity's dominion over the natural world. Medieval society's unease with the independence and enigmatic nature of cats, combined with Pope Gregory IX's decree, created an environment where those once revered animals became targets for elimination. And this is where the internet really takes some liberties by connecting this disdain for cats to the Black Death. Allegedly spurred by Pope Gregory IX's bill, Europeans exterminated cats en masse. When a devastating plague arrived, the absence of cats allowed the rat population to proliferate unchecked, facilitating the spread of the disease. So how true is this story? While it contains some separate truths, the narrative as a whole could not be more wrong. Okay, so the Vox in Rama is a real document that was written as a letter in 1233 by Pope Gregory IX. It was not as often believed to be an official papal decree with a seal. The letter was sent to Conrad of Marburg, a German priest and a nobleman, and one other German bishop. It did indeed target heretics living in the area of Germany who were accused of forming cults that worshipped the devil. And although Gregory's letter describes the cult's ritual, the mention of cats is in relation to the whole and not the subject of the narrative. In his description, Gregory IX writes, Afterward, they sit down to a meal, and when they have arisen from it, from a certain statue, which is usual in a sect of this kind, a black cat about the size of an average dog descends backwards with its tail erect. First the novice, and then the master, then each one of the order who are worthy and perfect, kiss the cat on its hindquarters. These speculative rituals questioned by the Pope may or may not actually have taken place, apart from the Vox in Rama letter. There is no other historical proof for their existence, besides their mention in the said letter. So did the Vox in Rama cause Europeans to fear cats and kill them en masse? That would be impossible at the time. The Pope's letter was not seen by anyone except its two recipients. Having said that, Gregory IX never called black cats as the devil's spawns, but simply mentioned them in the context of a particular ritual. Black cats were also discriminated against way before the Vox Rama. During the medieval and early modern periods, cats, especially black ones, became entangled in the complex web of superstitions and beliefs dealing with witchcraft. Cats had symbolic significance in various pagan traditions. In some cultures, cats were associated with fertility, protection, and mystical powers. As Christianity spread and sought to suppress pagan beliefs, symbols like black cats became demonized and associated with witchcraft. The association between cats and witches was further strengthened by the fact that many accused witches were women. Cats, being commonly associated with femininity, were often linked to women accused of practicing witchcraft. As such, cats, specifically black ones, were often killed way before the Pope wrote about them in a letter that nobody but two people ever read. Sticking with cats lends itself to dispelling another myth, the one in which their death led to an increased rodent population and hence the bubonic plague. 
In fact, because the bubonic plague was caused by a bacteria named Yersinia pestis that infected fleas, those in turn moved on to living on rats as much as cats, hence making both equally susceptible to the illness. We should also mention the fact that Pope Gregory's letter was written somewhere around 1232 CE, and the Black Death, as the plague came to be known, did not happen until 1347 CE. Even then, the plague returned numerous times until the 1700s. Thus, attributing it to a cat extinction would be difficult as there is no evidence that there was suddenly a big shortage of cats in Europe for about 400 years. Someone would have probably noticed it by then, and no history points to anyone making a note of anything as such. Last but not least, when studying the trends of the bubonic plague, it appears that the Black Death had made its way to Europe from Asia and then through North Africa, namely Egypt, before settling in the Holy Roman Empire and Britain. Trade routes such as the Silk Road connected the East and West, facilitating the movement of goods, people, and inadvertently disease. The plague likely reached Egypt through similar trade routes and interactions with infected regions, as the area was a crucial hub for trade between the East and the Mediterranean. Ports and urban areas with high population density were more susceptible to rapid spread of the disease, and Egypt, with its major urban centers like Cairo and Alexandria, experienced significant loss of life on par with other areas of Europe. At this point, it would be important to mention that cats have a long and significant history in Egypt, dating back thousands of years. The ancient Egyptians held cats in high esteem and incorporated them into various aspects of their culture, religion, and daily life. By the 1300s, Egyptians domesticated cats for practical reasons, such as controlling vermin, especially rodents that threatened grain stores. Over time, cats became valued companions, and their presence in households was seen as a sign of good fortune. Thus, we can assume that there were plenty of cats in Egypt, and the area was just as ravaged by the plague as any other. And so, how true is the claim that the Pope had some cats killed resulting in the plague? Not so much. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to check out History Shorts on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or anywhere you listen to your shows. You can also visit HistoryShortsPodcast.com.